everyone, this is Teacher Hasty, and today I'm gonna teach you how to set your PowerPoint presentation as your Zoom virtual background. Let's check this out. And we're back to our text tutorial, and like what I told you, today I will be teaching you how to set your PowerPoint slideshow as your Zoom virtual background. So maybe you're asking, why do we need this? Okay, so first up, not all of us has a green screen, okay? And that would save us money, so we don't have to buy a green screen anymore, okay? That's one. Number two, some of us has a green screen, but not everyone has the luxury of time to set it up, like to place the rods and the clips all over and if we have one na yung DIY and then you have to spread the Gina cloth all over the plate. So yeah, to save your time, effort, and money, that's the first reason. And the next reason would be so that we won't be needing the help of OBS anymore. And as we know naman, OBS is not easy to learn, most especially if you're not into streaming and recording and tech. And if you're just a beginner pa lang in this um, screen recording thing. So, ayan. Without much further ado, let me head you over to my tutorial. So, and we're back to our tutorial, ayan. So, you can see that I opened a Zoom meetings window and I started the meeting where I am the only participant. And just to show you how the procedure is done. So, if you just hover to the bottom part of the screen, of the Zoom window, you'll see there the share screen button in color green. So, just click that. And then, here you can see three tabs we have basic advanced and files so you just have to click on the advanced tab and then you'll see here five options we have content from second camera video computer audio portion of screen or powerpoint as virtual background so you just have to select that powerpoint as virtual background and, and as you can see it's still in beta mode so click that and then select share so you also have the option to share sound before you click on share so click share and now you just have to find your presentation so okay so i already found my powerpoint presentation so i'm just gonna click that and then click open and then wait for the powerpoint to load so there as you can see you already have your slide deck and you on top of it, okay? Without having the need to use OBS. Now, if you need to record that presentation, then you might want to click record and then start recording. You can see that the slides take a while to load because it, it depends on the file size of your presentation. As you can see, it has left and right arrows for you to navigate your presentation to and fro and then it also shows you the slide number and then let's click this um, more button so you can see that there's the resize your video and then split video from powerpoint you can resize your video let's try that option resize and then ayan, you can now adjust video by dragging the drag points there and then you can adjust it place it here oops one limitation that we have here is that you cannot drag that um, window past your presentation so what i will do now is just i will just move and i will be at the rightmost part of the screen so now you're ready to record there you have it so now let's try to start recording check out the recording so good afternoon everyone so this was the slide deck that i used for my cot number one let's try the arrow keys if it will work by just pressing the arrow keys no okay it won't work using the arrow keys you have to click on the arrow buttons here and we adjust the arrow buttons no okay you can just click it from there just the view of my slides now let's see if the effects will work the animations that i did on powerpoint 
gonna skip that skip skip oh another limitation that we have here is that the animations won't work so it shows you your slide deck like in an image format para lang siyang a bunch of images being presented but the gifs are not moving anymore that's one limitation Yon. and the animations that i put on these texts like for these bullets and for these boxes they're not working so again like i'm telling you oh this is a video this is actually a video but now it's not playing it will not play the animations it will not make the gif smooth and it will not play the videos embedded within powerpoint itself and that sums up our tutorial for tonight and i hope that you learned something and that you get to use that as you record your presentations and only that one limitation that we discovered is that it is only able to give you static images as the background but pretty much yeah it works like obs and it's never obvious and it won't be obvious that you use zoom for that matter yeah so i did that thank you so much follow me on my social media channels that's teacher hasty on instagram and facebook and you may subscribe to my youtube channel that's hazel angeline tesoro don't forget to hit the bell button so that you'll be notified of my future uploads see you next week bye